this good Friday off off a good note across West Central Ohio with dry skies and dried road roadways. As we go ahead and look at current temperatures across the area, most of us are in the middle to upper 30s, 39 in Lima, 39 in Kenton, 37 in Bell Fountain. We are colder to the north in Napoleon Defiance, both at 28 degrees. I'll show you the reason why you guys are colder in just one moment. But as we look at winds, very, very light winds, calm for a good chunk of our communities for Wapak, Van Wert, and Paulding, only a three mile per hour wind in Lima. Now, as we go ahead and look at high resolution radar, satellite, and temperatures, we can see that it's pretty quiet across the area. We have some clouds along and south, roughly of US 30. And because cloud cover is very limited to almost non existent across the north, that's why it's colder up in Defiance and Napoleon, allowing that radiation to escape out into space. But as we go ahead and jump out across the Midwest regional, notice how there's more clouds across Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. It's an indication that things will be changing as we get later into tonight as shower and thunderstorm chances will increase. So as we look at Skycast today, overall, not a bad day whatsoever for Good Friday with partly to sunny skies. Now, as we go through the evening hours, those clouds will begin to thicken and then well after midnight and towards sunrise tomorrow morning, showers and thunderstorms are likely. Some of that will contain heavy rain, possibly some small hail, but severe weather is not expected. Often on showers and storms will be possible throughout our Saturday and into our Sunday Easter, but showers and thunderstorms are more likely Sunday afternoon as another disturbance moves through, and there could even be an outside chance that one or two of those could be on the strong to severe side. We do have a marginal risk of severe weather out for areas along and south of a convoy to Cairo to near Kenton line for possibly isolated large hail for one of the two storms reaching severe limits. Doesn't look like a severe weather outbreak by any means, but we're going to be very active over the next several days. As we go into our Monday, a warm front will begin to form across somewhere across the Midwest. It's still very uncertain on where, how far north this warm front will lift, but regardless, showers and storms will be likely Monday into Tuesday. And then as that load departs off Wednesday, we might even be cold enough for wraparound rain and snow showers as we get to our Wednesday. So the forecast for today, overall, things are looking good. Good for our Good Friday. Temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Partly sunny skies can be expected. Lows for tonight generally in the upper 40s with showers and thunderstorms likely late after midnight. Small hail possible, so make sure you keep that in mind as you go into the overnight hours tonight. Now as we look at the seven-day forecast, we will be up to 64 degrees for our Saturday. Breezy, but off and on showers and storms are likely. For Easter Sunday, we'll have afternoon rain and thunderstorms. One or two could be on the strong to Severe side with isolated large hail 57, but that active weather crest continues into our Monday and Tuesday with rain and thunderstorms likely. May even end as some rain and snow showers on Wednesday, so definitely active weather on the way, Chris. Oh, well, they say April showers bring spring flowers. <laughs> right. We are expecting that, right? We are. I definitely think so. Maybe a little bit of snow showers as well. <laughs> 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 All right. Well,